Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how variables can be used to store values and execute our code with specific data. Variables give us the ability to store information that we can use in our code. This information can be text or numbers and can be altered as our code progresses. Variables can be used to control different commands in our programs, such as which LED should turn on or how bright it should be. Before we start learning more advanced coding techniques, let's go over some broad rules we need to follow when naming variables in our code. Anytime we name something, we want to make sure that the name is descriptive. When someone reads a name in our code, they should be able to make an educated guess as to what it is used for. Our names cannot include any spaces. In C++, as in JavaScript, we write all names using camel case, where the first letter is always lowercase and every following word starts with a capitalized letter. If you try to start a name with a number, the computer will respond with an error. So either move the number to another place or write it out using letters. And remember, names are case sensitive. Before you use a variable, you need to note the type, give it a name and assign it a value. We're not going to talk too much about different variable types, though there are a bunch of different ones. For now, we'll just use the type int, which stands for integer or whole number value. When naming our variables, we need to be sure to follow our guidelines, so we would not want to use this name because it is not descriptive of the value it holds. Let's look at adding a variable to control commands in our programs. The first thing we need to do is assign it. We do this by writing the type int and then the variable's name, followed by an equal sign and the value we want to assign it. To use the variable, we plug its name wherever we want to use its value. In this case, we want the value of the brightness value variable, which is 100, to control the brightness of our LED. So we plug it into our command where we would normally write the number for brightness. It is very important to remember that we cannot use a variable unless we have previously defined it. Once we create a variable, we can change its value throughout our code as much as we'd like. Every time we give a variable a new value, we are overriding the value it had before. Each variable can only hold one value at a time. At the beginning of this code, we created a variable called brightness value and set its value to 100. So when we use the variable on line 8 to set the brightness of the LED, it will have a brightness of 100. Note that we do not use the word int after creating the variable. After we've lit the LED, we are changing the value of the brightness value variable to 200 on line 10. So when we use this variable to change the brightness of the LED on line 11, it will now have a brightness of 200. On line 13, we are using an equation to change the value of our variable. We are taking the previous value of the variable, which was 200, and dividing it by 4. So our variable now has a value of 50. When we use our variable for the last time on line 14, the LED will have a brightness of 50. In this lesson, we learned how to assign and use variables. Refer to the example to help you use variables to write some Arduino programs of your own.